Hey YouTube, it's Numbastaka here, and uh, today I've got a package that arrived from a, a dealer in Germany that I saw on eBay. And this was an auction, and I thought it looked quite interesting, so I thought I would bid for it. Um, for a while, I've been seeing very nice examples of the uh, 1902 matte proof um, sovereigns appearing. Um, on forums and eBay and the, I came across this one in an auction and it looked like it had some kind of potential so um, I managed to uh, managed to buy it uh, as the uh, the top bidder and uh, and the dealer in Germany sent it pretty quickly but uh, let's take a look and see whether it's uh, as good as it looked in the picture um, so what you've got here is a 1902 double sovereign. So um, you don't see very many double sovereigns around. Um, for those of you who are new to sovereigns, you have them mostly in the single sovereign, most popular one. There's also uh, half sovereigns, quarter sovereigns, uh, then there's the double and the quintuple sovereign, which is uh, over an ounce of gold in five, um, five sovereigns denomination. So uh, in 1902, they produced um, what's called matte proofs. So they were a special strike, and remember that a proof is really a description of the strike. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that it has a mirror surface, but it was a special uh, strike with um, better quality than uh, a bullion strike. And I understand this one is a matte proof. Uh, some of you experts might tell me I'm wrong and for some reason this isn't and it's a regular proof so please let me know if you're an expert on these map proofs but um, as far as I can see from looking at it and it's the first one I've had this is a uh, this is a matte proof double sovereign from uh, 1902 Edward VII Edward VII was the uh, the son of Queen Victoria he was the one that came before Edward VIII, who was the one that abdicated. So there's, there was Victoria, there was Edward, then there was George, the, George V, and then there was Edward VIII. Um, this is something that I've been on the lookout. Um, I am going to send it for grading. Um, it does seem to have, it's not perfect, it certainly isn't going to get a top grade. Um, it may be just a uh, PF61 or something like that. Uh, but even so, I think the top grade is a 63 or 64 for these coins. Um, so I'd be happy if it gets any kind of reasonable proof grade, and I'd be happy to see it in a holder um, for sure. So let me know what you guys think. Something a little bit different on my channel. The first, um, not the first, quite the first double sovereign, but the first of this kind of era and uh, maybe as a proof too.